One morning on the island of Sodor, Sir Topamak called some specific engines to meet with them in a siding. He had some important news to share. What is it, Sir Topamak? What is it that you wanted to tell us? Is it something bad, sir? Oh, I sure hope not. Now, 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 everyone. There's nothing bad I have to say. It's just to tell you something. Now, Gordon and James, you weren't in the last episode, and I don't think Percy was either. But in the last episode, I ordered a train named Murdoch to help us out with some of our trains. You know, trucks, coaches, even though we don't have any, any coaches. But anyway, so the thing is, I ordered him last time, but the one thing I remembered is that Murdoch was kind of a spin-off character. And he wasn't really a main character. But that's okay. It's just that I also realized that there were two main characters, like characters that are meant to be seen often, who weren't really seen in the railway often, or at all. And again, I had no problem with Murdoch at all. No, I didn't. It's just that I didn't order, I didn't have trains like Henry or Edward to help me out, and that's the thing that we were really missing the most. Those characters weren't introduced to us yet in this series. So, I bought an engine, just not only to help us out, but just to be noticed a bit more in the Railway series. You may come out now. Hello, everyone. No freaking way. Edward? Edward! It's really you! Whoa! Th this is so exciting! But sir, didn't we have an Edward? Well, not really, you see. We never had an Edward as, he as Blue Steel 42 was growing up. So, apparently, I ordered us a new one. So, you're welcome, and welcome to the railway, Edward! Thank you, sir. Wow, this is very exciting. Indeed! Welcome, Edward. Yes, indeed, Edward. Welcome. Speaking of which, that reminds me. Timothy, you have a teleporting power, right? Right. Can you teleport to every engine on Sodor and just tell them that Edward is now on Sodor? You can count on me, Sir Topham Hat. Don't worry, everyone. I'll see you all later. Bye, Timothy. Whoosh. Anyhow, so with that being said, everyone has their jobs to do, and Timothy's going to go tell everyone Edward's here. And about Edward, I have a special job for you, Edward. You're to go to the scrapyard and collect some scrap that are in a box there. Can you do that? Sure. So it'll be in a box in a car? Yep. Okay. Wait, Edward's going to the scrapyard already? But he's not that old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, Thomas, I was pretty good. Thanks. Just know, Edward, I'm only teasing ya. I know you are, Thomas. Anyway, I'll be seeing ya engines later. Bye, Edward. And so, Edward set off to the scrapyard. Ah, there's my load. Edward found his load on another side of the track at the scrapyard, and he popped over to collect it. Before Edward left, he noticed something beside him. It was a traction engine. Hello. You don't look that old, and you're not too broken. What are you doing here? What's your name? My name's Trevor. And they're going to break me up next week. Oh, that's a shame. I don't understand why. Me neither. Though what I do know is that my driver said all I need is just a bit of oil, grease, some polishing, and just a new coat of paint and everything. But my owner says I'm too old-fashioned. Oh, don't feel bad. When I was on the way here, some of the people whispered and thought I was old-fashioned. However, I don't pay attention to that nonsense. Say, what work did you do? My owner and I would travel from farm to farm. 
My driver and I would always do jobs like harvest wood, but the one thing we loved to do the most was give rice to children. Oh, yes. I like children. And I hope I didn't say that very weirdly, but it's true. I really like giving children rides and everything. It's really great. If only I had that chance, though. So, Edward set off. Broken up, what a shame. Broken up, what a shame. I must help Trevor, I must. But how? What I remember is that even though we engines like engines like Trevor, we just don't have enough room for him. It's a shame. It's a shame. Then... Why didn't I think about it before? There on the platform stood the very person to help. The vicar stood there with his two boys. Hello, Edward. You look upset. What's the matter, Charlie? Well, you see, vicar... Hold up. Edward, before this video continues, I have one quick question. Your driver has a name? Yeah, you didn't know? No, it's just because the thing is... You see, Edward, on, on the island of Soda, every engine's driver and fireman are just called that way. But your driver is named Charlie? Yeah, I didn't know that. That's weird. I, it's just, I thought all driver and fireman had names. Well, not on Sodor. Anyway, I'll see you all later, but this is just shocking. And you know what's even more shocking? This actually happened in the original episode. Guys, if you look down in the description, you'll find the episode there. We'll put the link in, because this is kind of what it's based off of. We did an episode like that. Anyway, so just check it. And in the episode, at this part, this very moment, the vicar called Edward's driver's real name, and it was Charlie. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Bye. Well, that was weird. Yeah, it was. But like I said, Vicar, the thing is, there's a traction engine at the scrapyard. And he wants to be used again. And he's still in really good condition. All he needs is just to be fixed here and there, but other than that, he'll be fine. Please, sir, please, save him. He saws, he takes care of wood, and he gives children rides. We'll see what we can do. In the meantime, I gotta take care of my two little boys. Make it quick, though, Vicar. It's just that the thing is, he'll be broken up next week. Oh, well, in that case, I'll definitely see in that for sure. One Saturday, a man named Jim Cole appeared up in front of Trevor to give him some good news. Reverend and his boys are coming to see you there, Trevor. I have a good feeling he might buy you. You really think so? I know so, as long as I get you fixed up. The vicar arrived with his two boys, and Trevor appeared. He looked better than ever, and was more excited than he had been in months. Show your paces, Trevor. Trevor spent the whole day going backwards and forwards. He was really starting to impress the vicar and his two boys. Later, the vicar stood out of his office. I got him cheap, Jim, cheap. Do you hear that, Trevor? The Ricker saved you. And you'll live at the vicarage now. Everyone was smiling, and Trevor was mostly. And so, Trevor enjoys his new life at the vicarage orchard, and gets to see Edward every day. He enjoys working where he is, and loves keeping his field all gold and everything, just how it looks perfect. He loves his work, but he loves heading up to the church fair. Of course, Trevor loves seeing the countryside, and the one thing he loves the most is giving children rides. And so, another episode is brought down. Two new engines are now on Sodor, one a traction engine and one a steam engine. They are practically the same, only one on rails and one on land. But as always, an episode is over and another will come with new members.